Hey everyone, I hope your day is going great so far. Uh, today we're going to look into Brave browser. Brave works like Chrome, it acts like Chrome. Um, on, your brow on your desktop it'll work like Chrome, you can add extensions like Chrome, um, but it works in the background to take all adverts and trackers and all that web uh, advertising clean out of the browser without you having to use um, additional extensions such as uBlock Origin. It's not 100%, but um, it has a good go. It's possibly the only one uh, that I use on iOS that is consistently uh, able to take adverts out. Um, and what we're going to do is just have a look to see where we can find this. So when you sw swipe down, you can see that I've typed in Brave here, and it is the red and white lion. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go and open up this split window that I've got here. Um, and on the right hand side, I've got uh, this one here. I've got um, Safari. So I'm just going to go and refresh this page. And then on the other side, I've got uh, Brave open. So you can see immediately that on the Safari side, I have uh, adverts straight away, and then I have a Nivea advert underneath. Unfortunately, with uh, adverts, the feeds are coming from adverts. We have no control over what the content is. And it's going to go and refresh that page. And when I hit play, um, it's going to go straight into the video. And then if I play on the Safari one, it's going to go into that Nivea advert. Um, that's it. That's all you need really to you to know. Um, apart from that, all default links on the browser on the iPads in the primary school are going to go straight into Brave, which means that even on the QR code, you have a QR code in the classroom, it'll take you straight into Brave. Okay, have a great day. Good morning, colleagues. It's actually Monday today, and uh, over the weekend, there were some updates to Edge, which I'd like to share with you. I think you may find them useful. Um, people think I've got shares in Edge because I keep on talking about it, but it is much more secure and much more flexible than any other browser, I think, right now. Um, there's an, a button here, look, split screen button. So you can see here I've got a seating plan and I click on the split screen and I'm going to put the daily notices on there. What I love about this now is that you can move these things here. Before, you'd need an extension to do that, but now it's hard baked into the operating system for you to be able to split screen. Nice little touches as well. You can actually switch the tabs around and things like this. Um, I've talked about accessibility many times in Edge. Um, and it's really part of the uh, DNA of it. Uh, one of the things that, I mean, I get my students to read out the daily notices on rotation so that they can improve their uh, presentation skills and confidence. But uh, now and then they get a little bit frustrated or bored with that. And I get the um, Edge browser to read it out using the AI voice. And it's incredible how, how much has improved over the years from a robotic voice. So let's just click on here, for example, and right click and you can see read aloud. I don't know if you can hear this, but let me move my mic. And it's pretty good, but what's nice about it, and this is where uh, it gets a bit exciting, is that you can change to all of these different voices and you can change the speed. So have a play around with that uh, with your students. It's good fun. Um, the third tip, um, I'm just gonna drop into my phone here because I shared this one before. Um, using the edge drop because I, I take photographs uh, with my phone quite a bit and then need to share them with myself or with the students very quickly and I use the edge drop function so if I go into my photos and here I've got a photo that I want to share I click the share button and you can see here it says edge and I go to send to edge drop um, you can't actually see that but it says send to edge drop and so that photograph is now sent to Edge Drop, three clicks. And when I go to my sidebar, you can see there's that photo that I just shared with myself. I can open it and do whatever I like. So I quite often take photographs of students' work and then very quickly share it with myself so that they can see it and we can talk about it. Okay. Um, Sidebar, by the way, if you want the sidebar to switch on and off, it's under the three dots and then settings and it is a sidebar somewhere here. Let me just move myself out of the way so that I can see those um, settings. Well, let's just search for sidebar. It should come out of my search. There it is, look, always allow switch on and off the sidebar. Okay, take care everybody, bye-bye.